Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is on the rare weapon drops of AQ3D. Some of these items are not exactly rare drops as they are difficult to get due to lack of people being there or stuff like that. So let's get started. The first things we're going to be doing is over at Bone Cliffs. So once you're here, you are going to want to fight the Stoic Gargoyle as you have a small chance of getting the Wicked Joke. And depending on your luck, it can take a while to get. The Gargoyle spawns right here on this platform. The next two items you can find in the dungeon over here. In the Umbral Caves, you have a chance of getting the Chetan Piercer. I think that's how you say it. I'm terrible with names. And the Acid Worn Blade. The Acid Worn Blade is dropped by the giant spider that is spawned in one of the random rooms. It's not a super low drop rate, but due to the fact that the room is random and the fact that she doesn't always drop it, it can be difficult to get. The Chetan Piercer is dropped by the boss. While you're in the dungeon, you might as well go for the Doom Ripper, which you can get in a rare chest. It's a very low drop rate, so good luck. You can also get this item in any of the dungeons in Bone Cliffs. The next item is in Skull Tower. You can get there by typing in Join Skull Tower. In this dungeon, you have a chance of getting the Soulborn Axe, and this is an extremely rare drop. You can get it from rare chests that are spawned randomly throughout this dungeon. The chance of getting the axe from the rare chest is extremely rare, plus, of course, you have to find a rare chest, which is not an easy feat. Another item you can get in here is the Decayed Dragon's Bane. Now, this is not an extremely rare drop, but you have to get this weapon from the right boss, which because the bosses are randomly spawned, it's not always easy. The next item you can get if you head to Ashfall and you want to go to Magma Mines. Once here, you want to head up this direction and head into the Magma Falls dungeon. Now this dungeon is not an easy one to run, but if you can get to the boss and kill him, you have a chance of getting the Furnace Hammer. And it is a pretty darn good looking hammer. While you're in Ashfall, you'll want to jump over to the Mount Ashfall camp. If you run this challenge right here, you have a chance of getting the Phoenix Blade, which is a really nice looking blade, the Acrolith Axe, Acroloth, I, again, I'm horrible with names, so, but it is, this is a nice axe, and the Dragon Slayer Lance. If you jump over to Dreadfool's Labyrinth, here you have a chance of getting the Midas Curse from Rare Chests. Now it's a very low drop rate, so it might take quite a while to get, but it is a great looking item. You can also get the Dreadfool cards from Dreadfool. It's a pretty low drop rate, so this one might also take quite a while to get. Jumping over to the Underworld Gate. If you whip around and go into here, head to the Legion Survival. In here, you have a chance of getting the Great Grave Blade or Sword, Great Grave. And this is one of my favorite items. Absolutely love this weapon. It is dropped by the Legion Renegade. In this area, a random boss called the Legion Dragon spawns and he drops the Legion Dragon Sword. You can also get this from Deja's challenge dropped by the boss there as well. While you're in the underground, if you head over to the Undead Warrior challenge and defeat the Undead Warrior, you have a chance of getting the Undead Warrior Blade or Sword. And it's not a very rare drop, but I thought I might mention it since you're here. Now there are a lot of other weapon drops that you can get in the Legion area. They're not super hard drops to get, but these are the items that you can get in this area. Dropped by the different bosses in this area. If you jump over to Barrow Point, 
And right in this little doorway right here, you've got two options, Barrow Drop and Drop Challenge. If you go to Barrow Drop and you kill the Ace Vora, you have a chance of getting the Vora Hammer. It's a pretty low drop rate, not super low. You have to do this area by yourself, so it's a bit tricky for people of a lower level. If you do the drop challenge, which can fit, I believe it's five people, you have a chance of getting the Vora Dagger from the boss. It's a pretty low drop rate. Jumping over to Darkovia, Dark Curse to be exact. In this area, you have two bosses that drop fairly uncommon items. If you kill this big guy right here, you have a chance of getting the Aberrant Lichen Glaive. He also drops another one that's rather common, but this one here is more difficult to get. Across the battlefield, you have another boss, Lord Enemus. Enemus? Enema? Lord Enema. And this guy drops the Unholy Vampiric Dagger, which is a pretty low drop rate. These are not extremely low drop rates, but they are somewhat rare, so I thought I'd mention them. He also dropped another dagger that's not very uncommon. Heading over to Darkovia Forest, if you run this dungeon right here, you have a chance of getting the Glowing Witchblade from the boss. Now, bosses actually. It's not a very uncommon drop, but I thought I might mention it. If you talk to Hopper and run this challenge and kill this boss, you have a chance of getting the More Wolf Club. It's not a super uncommon drop, but it is difficult to defeat this guy and to get the item, so that's why it's in this video. If you kill the Ancient Evil that spawns randomly in this area, you have a chance of getting the Ancient Evil Scythe, which is a really nice looking scythe. It also drops the armor set that goes along with this scythe. If you run this challenge right here, you have a chance of getting the Vile Teratoma Sickle and this is dropped by the boss right here. It is a rather uncommon drop, which is why I decided to mention it. He also drops another weapon that's very similar. If you run into this little area here and head to the right, run this dungeon, and when you get to the boss and kill him, you have a chance of getting the Hunter's Stake. It is an extremely rare drop rate, but you just might get it. Jump over to the Darkovia Castle, and once here, you run up the left staircase and if you run this dungeon right here you have a chance of getting three different items from the boss they're not extremely uncommon but because it's difficult running this dungeon especially if there's not a lot of people doing it it is difficult to get these three items if you go down into the catacombs or the waterways or whatever they call it you got this big guy right over here he drops two weapons that are a pretty low drop rate, but it's more or less the fact that he's a very difficult boss to fight, especially if there's no one else fighting him. Once you head across this parkour area here, run into this dungeon, and if you defeat the boss here, you have a chance of getting the Blood Vampire Lance. If you run this dungeon here and defeat the bosses, you have a chance of getting the Red Vampire Blood Blade and the Royal Vampire Guard Halberd. The last location is in Frostvale. If you jump to Frostvale and run the Blizzard Backwoods Dungeon, you have a chance of getting the Great Ice Block dropped by the boss. It's not a really low drop rate, but it is difficult to get through the dungeon and defeat him by yourself, seeing as how very few people run this dungeon. If you run the Ice Caverns of Lorne, you have a chance of getting the Glacial Ice Splitter dropped by the boss. Again, it's not a super low drop rate, but no one runs this dungeon, so it makes it difficult to get. Last but not least, if you defeat the Terra Snoma, you have a chance of getting the Ice Club. And this is not a very low drop rate, but it is difficult to kill this guy, especially if nobody's here. So that's why I put it on the list. So there we go. Those are the rare or hard to get weapons of AQ3D. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my Twitter or the AE Federation, you can check the links in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.